Hi, my name is Anthony Ulibarri, and I'm the inventor of the paint hammer and the owner of PaintHammerTools.com. Uh, you've all seen uh, these little church keys, that's what I call them. Opens up a beer bottle, opens up a metal can. Seen these, this type as well, this is actually a new type, I haven't seen that one before, but it does the same thing. Opens up your beer bottle, opens up your metal cans. They're free. The only problem is when you need one, where are they? I had like 12 of these in my garage, but every time I need, needed one, I couldn't find it. Also, there, you've seen these. These are like a newer tool. Actually, they've been out for quite some time, but uh, these are uh, for uh, removing the plastic lids on the pails and buckets. Uh, they're kind of an iffy tool. Uh, some of these, the draw is a little bit too, uh, too big, and so you'll have trouble getting it inside in the groove sometimes. And then they have a ten tendency to snap. And uh, look at some YouTube videos, you'll see what I mean. Basically, these are junk. You don't need these. What you do need is the paint hammer. Okay, the paint hammer is a three-in-one tool. The first tool is used for removing lids on the metal cans from half pint up to one gallon. You just drop it in the groove right there, turn it, go round and round. The lid comes off just like that. Set that aside, and let's move on to the next tool. This tool right here takes the lids off the plastic buckets and pails, okay, from the two, three, and five gallon sizes. Basically, you hook it underneath there, get a hammer on the side, hook it underneath there, pull up on it, work your way around, and it comes off just like that. No problem. Okay, the third part of this tool is a dead blow hammer. Basically, on the inside of the head, there's shot in there, kind of like a shotgun shell. There's shot in there. Sort of like a bag of sand. When you drop a bag of sand on the concrete, it doesn't bounce. Same with this hammer. It's a dead blow. It's filled with shot. So when you hit, when you hit the uh, top of the lid, it stays put. It's like glue. Nail on, smack it on there. It usually takes about eight whacks. Closed nice and tight. It's not coming off. Now the metal cans right here. You just barely need to touch them. It usually takes four little taps sealed perfectly. It's not going to leak at all. Okay, it also opens, or actually seals, the gamma buckets with the gamma lids. These are used for food storage, okay? Basically, you can hammer, use a, the dead low por portion of this tool, the paint hammer, to seal these lids, because once you put these on here, they don't come off. You don't want to take them off. So you smack these down really hard, so they're sealed permanently. Okay, now there's a cross handle in here. Use the dead wall hammer to knock it, get it started, and it twists off just like that. Okay, there it comes off just like that. Now you can put your food in, take your food out, whatever you need to do. When you're done, you spin it back on there, just like so. Get on there snug, take your paint hammer, hit it, seal it nice and tight, you're done. Okay, basically the paint hammer is designed for painters, it's designed for uh, people in the food industry for, like I said, food storage. Uh, you can use, uh, use the buckets to uh, store your pet food at home. There's a lot of use you can get out of it. You can, uh, people, if you're a painter that paints uh, automobiles, uh, you buy a lot of expensive paint in one gallon sizes and even the quartz, but uh, you can use this tool for that as well. It's really, it's handy. Uh, it does the job. You can really rely on it. Uh, it's uh, totally washable. Uh, it's not going to rust. There's the, these are uh, stainless steel parts uh, and uh, aluminum rivets that are holding it all together. The handle's rubber as well as the head. Um, and like I said, it's easy to uh, clean, easy, very washable, and easy to find. It hangs right on the end of your bucket just like so, so you can find it a little bit later when you need it. Uh, at any rate, I appreciate your time. Thanks for uh, looking, thanks for listening, and I hope to see you around. Remember, the paint hammer. Buy it, use it, you're going to love it. Thanks for looking.